Okay guys, I haven't seen a video of this, so I had some little issues uh, building and compiling for Mono in 2.0. Um, issues here and there, no real major ones, just finally took a lot of googling to figure out, but I want to make this video for everyone. It's really easy. Um, it's actually really, really easy. Um, what you need to do is install Atom. Atom. Uh, this is what I used. I mean, I have Visual Studio Code also, but Atom was uh, easier to, I guess, install all the dependencies. Uh, go ahead and get that installed. Get the uh, Platform IO installed in there, which is actually pretty easy. Um, make sure I have figured out this is one was one issue. So, uh, make sure it runs as administrator. But uh, just go to settings, install, and make sure. Whoa, Platform IO is actually installed. Platform and the ID version. This one is installed, so we can continue from there. We don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, and what we need to do now is bring up Marlin firmware.org. Uh, download. I always go to the GitHub and to get the newest version because I always want to stay up to date of course this version says they did a fix for the UOPL bed leveling and that was 18 hours ago so that works for me um, save running security scan all the good stuff uh, we're gonna go ahead and open from here I go into that folder so that I don't extract that folder too. highlight all this extract we're gonna go to Marlin 2 Okay, I'm going to take a second after it's all extracted. You can go ahead and close this and close this. We don't need that anymore. Now, uh, go ahead and open the folder. We're going to go to Marlin 2. Yeah, Marlin 2. Go ahead and select this folder. It will open with all of this fancy stuff. Yeah. Platform O, we need to change this. We need to change the actual, go here and change the default environment. Since I'm building for an MKS S base, it uses the 1768 low power. So we're gonna go here, we're going to replace this. So we'll get there. Save it, file, save, good, done. Next, we need to go into Marlin and actually change, make a change to configuration H. Uh, what we're doing is we're actually changing this right here, which is on line 136. Uh, see, it says ramps. We're not building for ramps. We're building for the MKS S Force S Base. Um, so, to do this, we need to make sure we get the correct name. So, we're gonna go source. Oh, sorry core boards let's just bring up every list of every board here and then we will go ahead and do s base okay so we need to search for this copy this so that we know this is defined in there with the correct of course they did the code so everything should be correct uh, we're going to go back here to 136 and we're going to replace this mks s base cool okay save this again so we're done there. Everything should be good. Uh, close that. Close it. We don't need that. Um, file. Save all, which would do platform IO. We don't need that. Uh, and then after you're done with that, we make sure that this default environment is set and also that your board is set correctly. We're going to click the checkbox over here which is actually build. Uh, I'll go ahead and expand this so you can see what's going on. I've seen a bunch of the yellows are actually variables for um, Linux so it's not a real big deal. Um, it builds pretty quickly. At least in my experience it builds pretty quickly. Um, and it has flashed to the board and everything worked fine for me. Basic functionality. Uh, I have not built my um, 
actual 3D printer completely out. I'm waiting on a couple parts to come in. But as you can see, the page came up and it said it did finish successfully. So now we're going to go over to our Marlin folder that we downloaded and compiled from. We're going to go to the PIO environments. Uh, yes, PIO dot PIO ENVS environment variables. And then LPC, which is what we built for LPC 1768. And then here's your firmware file. It's only 77K. Don't worry about that. It's That's the only file you need to copy over to it. It will flash it. And then from what my experience is, everything worked fine, even with my touchscreen. But that is pretty much it. I mean, it's really simple, really straightforward, really, really easy. Um, if there's anything else you guys need or have any questions about, just go ahead and uh, leave a comment. All right. Thanks.